We have done a couple of rework uh, regarding to heat maps, presentation of certain analysis, and we added curvature analysis. First, let's have a look on the wall thickness analysis and the different ways how we can use a new heat map. So first of all, we have a whole bunch of presets with different numbers of colors, uh, different colors themselves uh, for various purposes, which you can use out of the box. And of course, you can modify them during runtime if you like. Um, let's take a typical example how to work with it. Let, we are going to use a wall thickness analysis and we just run it uh, by selecting a rolling ball detailed with the default color map and so forth. So the rainbow preset has seven colors typically from red to, to purple. And, um, you know, um, even after doing the calculation, you can manip manipulate all the results as you like. Yeah, so inverting them, uh, showing color bands, uh, manipulating the colors, uh, showing a kind of a histogram, which gives you an idea which color values are uh, occ uh, occurring most of the time. Um, you can uh, change the range of the values you're interested in, typically by, by having a look on the histogram and then update um, uh, the, the, the color bands. Yeah, so this is um, there's really various ways you can do it. And uh, we have had a look on, on many other applications, how they're doing and trying to do the best. Um, What's really differentiated to what we have done before um, is that we also allow to work with multiple parts where those parts might have different uh, color maps. So um, whatever behavior we are going to change here in the, in the working pane really depends on the part selected. Yeah, so if you have only one part and start the calculation, then of course this part is uh, selected automatically. If you have multiple parts, you can select the one or the other or, or several parts, and then you can apply different uh, color maps or heat maps uh, to display the result in whatever way you would like to see it. Of course, we can also save that uh, back um, into our views so that, you know, you want to, if you want to preserve it, it will show up. If you do not select anything, then the, uh, then the, uh, here the, the color map will be removed and will appear in gray. Now, you can also do other changes like like uh, changing colors uh, inside the color map, uh, limiting the values so that if, if the data are out of the range, they will uh, show up in a certain color. Um, second example, how the heat map or the color maps work with the, in this case, uh, the band analysis, the clearance analysis. Um, Depending on your preference, you can choose, you know, whatever colors you would like uh, to see. And, and uh, of course, maybe the range you would like to see displayed, uh, you would, can be limited to, to certain areas. Now you see uh, some, some values were outside what we have to define. So we, we check the limit uh, value checkbox and it will show up with the color which is closest to what we've done. So switching to Perula, you know, um, or to jet, you know, choose whatever preset you would like to have, or, you know, have, have your, your guys, uh, create your own preset if you, if you like. Now let's go to, uh, the new curvature analysis. Uh, one of the reasons why doing the, the, the new heat map, uh, was curvature analysis because we had, uh, demand for, for more options, more possibilities, different behavior. So there's uh, three different strategies like a Gaussian mean and maximum. And uh, if we just run it, you see uh, maybe sometimes a good idea to remove one of those colors because then the other colors uh, are easier to to recognize. And there again, you know, whenever you play with the uh, with the results, you know, the, the range of the results, you can update the um, intermediate value so that uh, 3D view stations will show it uh, 
however you like. You see in the left side in the views that we have saved uh, the, uh, the same model with different strategies uh, being displayed, uh, especially for curvature, this histogram uh, is really helpful to see where most of the values occur and you can then use that to adjust the range of your color map. Um, so, you know, you're probably the expert, you exactly know what kind of strategy is the best to analyze uh, the models you have and, and what kind of interest you have. The maximum seems to be for toolpaths, for instance. Now let's take another example. Um, here we also showing just uh, using just the, the maximum you, you see we, we are also playing you know uh, do we have fixed color bands or graduated colors uh, whatever and then uh, when having a look at the histogram we see that most of the ranges are somewhere in the green space so let's let's limit that uh, and then uh, update the intermediate values and then you see okay green is something which is more or less flat uh, you know no, not not really uh, not really a curvature and, uh, and maybe you know the area of the, of the purple or, or the blue or whatever is the one which is uh, uh, you're interested most in. A last one um, uh, no. curvature analysis for for a sheet metal example. So we have chosen an, another table for invent uh, just using those colors. As you see, we have 18 different values. Um, Again, if we have a look at the histogram, we see that most of the values, uh, yeah, model after analysis has become pretty blue. So let's adjust, uh, you know, that we say, okay, we're interested from a certain, a certain area. And then we see, okay, we're coming closer. Maybe we have still too many colors. So let's, let's reduce the number of colors. And maybe we should uh, change the, 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 the blue one to to why so that it doesn't disturb the other other colors and it's a typical approach to how to um, make the appearance of our results in a way that that you know it's, it's really good to understand and to recognize uh, same for for the other curvature type uh, mean and we're also adjusting here the value so that the we, we, we are more in the in the spectrum in the area where we really have uh, most of the values and then if we go to Gaussian it's more or less the same story we really have to choose a pretty pretty small value that we start uh, seeing something in the model yeah okay so that's it uh, for this time uh, related to new heat maps color maps uh, the new curvature function thank you <laughs>